Well, next, the city which got a splash of colour on a very grey day. Yeah, it's all happening in Chester at the moment. If you were there today, you might have seen the annual Disability Pride Parade. It's a city where they love to party and one of only a handful of places in the world to celebrate diversity, inclusion and unique abilities all at once. Our correspondent Andy Bonner went to meet some of those taking part. They were here to make themselves heard and they certainly did that. This burst of sound, colour and movement brought together a diverse range of people from across Cheshire. It's amazing to have this much community support for us and the wider disability community. Get the word out there of what our staff do. It's just brilliant. The parade was all about having pride in disability and it draws attention to the various challenges facing people too. Megan has been researching accessibility in theatres. I had to do it a team Zoom chat and see what different accessibilities are available. It was for the performing arts and things, wasn't yeah. it? And, um, and a lot of the buildings around here are old, but there isn't the accessibility isn't great. But, um, but they are making changes, but they're just very slow at the moment of doing it. But that's financial at the end of the day. But that's just the way it is. In 2023, yeah. Yeah, and moved on a lot more by now. Of to places be fair. have made made changes, so I don't yeah. see why we can't. No. We need to show people that we are here. We do everything that everyone else does. We just might need a bit of help. I got learned to speak and cerebral palsy. I get quoted. You don't look disabled. Whole point. What do people actually expect people with disabilities to look like? The event was organised by Story House. The parade helped launch the Cultural Centre's annual Kaleidoscope Festival, which celebrates neurodiversity. I enjoy it every year. Why do you want to be part of it? Make new friends and like to be acting. With special needs, you can do anything. And it's fantastic, you know. It's good to see what it's all about in life. Really, code, but I'm not even code, but... Um, it turned me to out here. I have won at my, back my life to be here. Theo is 16 and loves the event. People like pride because it makes people happy mm -hmm. and people love to say because it's handsome. He loves pride. This is Chester's third Disability Pride Parade, thought to be the only one of its kind in the country this year. And when they're making this much noise, their message is hard to ignore. Andy Bonner, ITV News, Chester.